Join HealthClick on an evidence-based educational journey into injury prevention and optimal mechanics in the throwing athlete. The end of baseball season is typically synonymous with the end of winter. However, for many young athletes, the pressure to train and compete all year has become all too familiar. Overhead throwing injuries are on the rise due to lack of sufficient training, proper mechanics, and appropriate throwing rest periods throughout the year. When it comes to the overhead athlete, it is essential to perform a thorough examination incorporating the whole body, the core, spine, legs, feet, and balance. This evidence-based advanced level course provides the foundation for performing a comprehensive evaluation for the throwing athlete. What does their stride look like? What is their core positioning? All of those things, again, play in how that arm is positioned down the road and can put can take away risk and add risk as we go. And just the minor tweak of one thing can actually lead to a whole different looking throwing mechanics and again, decreasing risk for that patient. So I want you to, everybody to think about the throwing motion. First of all, it's not just the arm, it's not just the elbow, and it's not just the shoulder. We have to look at that summation principle, meaning everything works together. So most of our force starts with that push off from that stance leg in the back. What it's gonna do is we're gonna transfer weight to that front leg, which becomes a break. From there, it starts a whole rotation movement, which is, happens you just like to see in your golf swing and in your baseball swing, and again, in your throwing motion. Learn to identify the core deficits in each athlete and develop a progression of return to play activities to assure a safe return to sport specific activity. Develop a strategy to introduce the proper components of throwing mechanics and optimal training techniques to minimize the risk of injury and to maximize performance.